Stand by. On starter's orders, and they're off, pulling hard against the strong currents of Loch Foyle. This is the first of an afternoon's races off Greencastle in County Donegal, in hand-built wooden boats known as foil punts. They're very different to a lot of uh, fiberglass or plastic boats. They respond very, very well to the people that are actually in them, and particularly when you go to turn or to change direction of course than that, the actual physical movement of the bodies as well as the rowing of the oars combined with the shape of the boat to get the maximum speed out of it. It's a delight to row something like this on the water, something which is hand-built, handcrafted and traditional, and it's superb to put on the water with a team of rowers and go to it with all your might until you're exhausted. But behind the fun and the exercise of rowing is a coastal community's determination to maintain a link with their maritime past. The foil punt was the workhorse of the local fishermen, but come the weekend, they used them for sport. There are a number of regattas held all around any shown in the summertime and the rowing used to be a big piece of the regatta in the previous generation. Through the years the, the rowing died out slowly, particularly then when uh, diesel engines were introduced, when modern life changed and it virtually had died out altogether. That could have been the end of an era of boatsmanship, in fact of the very boats themselves. Was Greencastle's long-held connection with the sea on the wane. The most remarkable thing about Loch Foyle is it's an enormous expanse of, of waterway. It's over 20 miles long and over 5 miles wide in places and there are times where there literally isn't a single pleasure boat on it. It's the most underused asset that we have in this area and hopefully with the rowing club and with others becoming involved we start to make good use of it. Starting up the rowing again is one thing but many of the old boats had fallen into disrepair. McDonald's boatyard, which had developed the original foil punts back in the 1700s, was still in operation, so it was down to them to resurrect the old design. Well, these here are the traditional punt, what we call a foil punt. It's a 16-foot class. It's made in the traditional clinker style. You can see overlapping timbers there. That would be the McDonald's style of building boats for years and years. And the same tradition is used now of copper nails and oak ribs. A bit of machinery now comes in to help, but mostly it's all handwork yet. Six generations of McDonald's have been making boats in Greencastle. The resurgence of interest in the foil punt has been so great that for the first time in decades, the focus in the yard has been on building these lovely old boats, ensuring that time-honored craft skills would not be lost.